pain, sciatic nerve injury. What if I told you there was a natural substance that recently was shown to help repair sciatic nerve damage? Now we all know people, if it's not yourself, that experience sciatic nerve pain at one time or another, especially as a result of injury. Now keep in mind, this substance they discovered was found in something as simple as the peel of an apple. All right, let's move to the citation research entitled, Rosalic Acid Induces Neural Regeneration at the Sciatic Nerve Injury. Study was published in volume eight, number 27, year 2013, in the publication, Neural Regeneration Research. And this is what happened. The researchers looked at rosalic acid, they noticed it had some incredible benefits to it. In note, the researchers, it did this, this is quote, it was natural plant-based drug derived from rosemary, oregano, apple, you name it. And it had an antioxidant effect, anti-inflammatory effect, anti-cancer effect, anti-scarring effect. And this was important because with nerve injury, you want to make certain the nerves didn't scar too fast, otherwise it may inhibit the healing. It regulated the immune system. And most of all, this was the clue to the researchers that convinced them to move forward. They found that it repaired injured neurons. And so there was no studies at that time in regards to ursulic acid in peripheral nerve injury. So this is what happened. The researchers took three groups of mice. This sounds kind of cruel, but this is what happened during the research. They took the sciatic nerve of these mice in three separate groups and crushed the sciatic nerve. So we're not just talking regular sciatic nerve injury, we're talking literally crushing the sciatic nerve itself. Then they administered intravenously three different amounts of rosalic acid. They gave two and a half milligrams per kilogram to one group, five milligrams per kilogram to another group, and 10 milligrams per kilogram to another group. What does that mean to you? Well, if it's 10 milligrams per kilogram, you're looking at a max dosage of about 800 milligrams for a 180 pound individual. The reason that's important is this, because they found the rosalic acid was dose dependent. The more you took, the faster and better the results. And this is what they discovered. And this is reading from the research itself. The number of myelinated nerve fibers in their average diameter and high and medium dose for cellic acid groups were significantly higher than the lower dose, meaning the more you took, the better it worked. And basically it showed the low dose. The cellic acid group showed stronger effects in the model group, the poor mice that got nothing. This was evidence that a cellic acid can strongly promote the growth of damaged nerve myelin, hence damaged sciatic nerve. So we proceed forward and what the researchers concluded. The study was the first to demonstrate a role of acerlic acid repair and regeneration following peripheral nerve injury. Acerlic acid promoted the regeneration of injured nerve myelin sheets and reconstructed muscular function. Now a little bit of a side note, Ursulic acid, the reason when you go look for it often, let's say in a health food store per se, and you'll find it in the sports nutrition section, because ursulic acid, the substance derived from aspal peel of rosemary, was actually shown to rebuild atrophied muscle. Henceforth, in their words, it's reconstruct muscular function. And this was their conclusion. All experimental findings provide favorable evidence for the reapplication of ursulic acid following peripheral nerve injury. Main reason, immediately if they can, or close to after the nerve injury, is because by preventing the scarring and helping the neural regeneration, you have a better chance at recovery. So, ursulic acid, derived from things like rosemary, apple peel, and a whole slew of other things, including oregano, da 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 da, shows extreme promise of enhancing the healing of humans in regards to sciatic nerve injury really good hypothetical study or experimental study, I should say, or investigational. So, salic acid, available, and shows great promise. From here, you can take that information and you can move forward with it as you like. And of course, at the end of this article would be the citation and the journal reference number. So if it's something you want to explore with your medical professional, it is more than easy to bring to them. Ralph Turchiano, signing off once again. I really hope this helps. Thank you.